Good morning and welcome you to this briefing on this Monday morning, August the 13th. The main words today are turn around, don't drown. With all the rain we had yesterday and more on the way today, it's important to remember when you come to a flood of low water crossing like you see in this picture right here, stop, turn around, don't drown, and find yourself an alternate route. Any of our low water crossings, especially in our urban areas and our smaller towns where there's those low water crossings or those underpasses that can fill up in a hurry, please avoid those areas today. For today we're looking at continued chances for showers all across the area along with rain, you know, rain showers and some of that will be heavy and a few thunderstorms are also possible. There's your chance for rain for wherever you live and the chances are actually are pretty good today for much of the area. Again, I, I can't emphasize this enough. Uh, any any of this uh, heavy rain today can result in some flash flooding in a hurry, especially those low water crossings. Please don't try to cross those because it could sweep you and your car into the stream. So use extreme caution. Well, all this rain will end tonight, and uh, there could be still a little left over uh, flooding in some of our low water crossing areas. And uh, but, but the bottom line is that most of this precipitation will move out of the area, and by Tuesday. Look for decreasing cloudiness and warmer conditions with a south wind at 10 to 15 miles per hour. And here are the temperatures across the area. Most of the temperatures will be actually near 90. Upper 80s down in the uh, I-10 corridor, uh, 91 right here in the Concho Valley, and 90 uh, from Abilene and on north up into the Throckmorton area. Maybe 92 at Hamlin. So sunshine should come out sometime tomorrow afternoon and uh, we'll begin the drying process through the rest of the week. Hey, have yourself a nice day, and thank you for stopping by.